and the method that Botticelli would have used, we utilize the Renaissance technique of fresco, or rather the fresco technique of the Giotto period. First, a rough layer of plaster, called the arriccio, is applied to the surface of the wall with a trowel. This plaster is composed of thick sand and lime, with a ratio of one part lime to three parts of inactive material, or thick sand. This layer is allowed to dry for one or two days before it is ready for the second layer. The thin, smooth second layer of plaster, called the intonaco, is then applied, and this plaster is composed of lime and a finer inactive material, such as fine sand or marble dust. This last layer of plaster is the fine surface that serves as the giornata, or day's work, ready to accept the pigment. Artists during the Renaissance would have had a workshop, and therefore many apprentices would have all worked on a fresco commission together. First, the artist sketches the composition onto the animal skin glue for reference. The outlines are then poked with a needle to produce a series of holes that will allow pigment to pass through. The tracing paper with the image, or the cartoon, is then held to the surface and a bag made with a thin material filled with pigment is patted over the surface of the tracing paper, gently forcing the pigment to pass through the holes of the image, depositing them onto the surface of the fresco. Then, using a brush, they connected the dots to produce a basic line drawing of the artist's original composition. The next step is to use a pigment called verdaccio to develop a basic monochrome tonality, creating a base for tonal harmony when other colors are applied. After the verdaccio, white is applied in the highlights, and then other colors can be introduced. The colors should remain somewhat transparent, and a correct proportion of water mixed with the pigment is imperative. The artist only has 9 to 12 hours to work with the plaster before it is completely dry, so they must work quickly. Frescoes are strong due to the chemical bond that is created when the water passes through the lime, bringing calcium to the surface. As the water evaporates, the calcium interacts with oxygen, creating a transparent, final protective layer for the work.